What up, Scorpios? Lori Gemini Tarot here. I'm gonna go ahead and give you your bi-weekly reading. This is gonna be for the 1st to the 15th of October, 2018. What the fuck's up with you guys? I hope you guys are doing great, 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 great. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see how this goes. Let's see. Let's see. Just wanna go ahead and mix up the deck. And I want to give you guys a heads up that this is a general collective reading for Scorpio. So this reading may not resonate with you. Some may apply, some may not. Okay. So take what, you know, so take what resonates, leave out the rest that does not. And this reading does not resonate with you at all. That's mean this reading was not meant for you. Okay. It was meant for another fucking Scorpio. Okay. Millions of fucking Scorpios on this planet. So chill out. Chill out. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Okay. The deck that I'm using is the Star Wars Tarot deck. I got this off of Etsy. Paper and Tears, I believe. I like supporting artists. So, uh, and I really love this deck. This person put a lot of thought an energy into this deck and they thought of each card and what it represented and they did an excellent job and the clarifying deck i'm using is the mystical manga deck that i'll be using okay two more for my scorpios for the first to the 15th of october 2018 Okay, one more for my Scorpios. There we go. The force is strong. Overall theme, we have the Nine of Pentacles reverse, okay? Some of you are finally getting your head out of clouds, maybe just wanting to no longer be single or no longer want to just focus on you. You just want to focus on other things now, okay? Some of you may be just kind of overindulging in some finances. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. 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 Bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor Reverse. You may be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries, but this person's a liar and manipulator, okay? Papa Palpatine, something, something dark side, right? Papa Palpatine. Followed by the Two of Pentacles, you're trying to find balance, stability, maybe with this, this person, or it could be with your work, home, work life, personal life, everything else, okay? All right, some of you are ready to no longer be single. You wanna be out and about. We have the two of swords here. So you made a decision, your mind is made up. We have the queen of pentacles here. You're wanting grounding, stability. You see this person, you find them as like husband material or wife material. But we have the galaxy card reverse, which is the world card. So some of you are not learning your karmic lesson. I feel like this is the same repetitious shit all over again. We have the page of cups reverse. So I feel like this love offer, you are not gonna be taking this offer or somebody else is not serious about this. Like you think, like, like you may be into them, but they're not into you or vice versa, you know? Because like this person's like a trashy person, right? That's what I'm getting. Okay. So let me go ahead and mix up these cards a bit. This is the mystical mega tarot deck I'm using for my clarifiers. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right into this Scorpio. So let's find out what's going on. I love my Scorpios. You guys are so cool. You guys are so passionate. I know you guys are so passionate, but you guys are huge stalkers. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I love you guys. Okay. So Scorpio, October 1st to the 15th, 2018. What's going on with my Scorpios? Okay, 
two more for my Scorpios. One more. Perfect. Alrighty then, so why is the two of swords here? Why is the two of swords here for my Scorpios? Okay, ooh. Your mind is made up. You're going to decide to invest all this fucking hard work into this emperor again, all right? You, I'm telling you, this Aries, this Leo, whoever it is, you think they're fucking hot shit. You're going to invest all your motherfucking time and energy into this fucking emperor. Like, this work is fucking exhausting. It's exhausting. You're gonna decide to invest in this shit again. So why is the Queen of Pentacles here? So why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Scorpio? You guys are dealing with like, you guys are probably dealing with the Taurus. Cause Emperor card, Emperor card. Cause I mean, you're like, oh, well there's an Aries right here too, which is true, but we have the Queen of Pentacles followed by the knight of coins okay so there's no you think see it's like you just think like oh we're gonna be together this is what you think like oh we're gonna be together if i just you think like you can change them or something like that oh if i put the work into it then they'll they'll be this they'll be this they'll be like this great person but no nah, they're not fucking stable yeah and with the ace of swords you're just not seeing through the shit Okay, you need fucking clarity on that bullshit. It's like, you need to see the situation for what it is. So why is the galaxy card reverse? Why is the galaxy card reverse? It'll probably tell you. I already fucking know. I already told you earlier. Not learning, but let's. Three of pentacles okay you're not learning your lesson this is like some sort of three-party bullshit okay it's like you guys date on again off again it's always back and forth between you and other people so once again you're in this fucking loop so i feel like this person is like maybe dating somebody else and they're trying to date you or maybe they left you for another person here they are trying to crawl back Some of you could be dealing with a pregnancy. You're trying to work out this agreement. You're trying to work out this agreement. So why is the page of cups reversed? Why is the page of cups reversed? Those are too many cards, unfortunately. So why is the page of cups reversed? Why is the page of cups reversed? take those cards so we got the eight of cups yeah so you are learning your lesson so you're gonna not you're not gonna learn your lesson because this person can't commit this person can't commit so you need to walk away from this. This is the Eight of Cups. You need to walk away from this. You need to realize that you need to move forward, move on from this relationship. There's no love here. We have the King of Swords. You may be dealing with a Gemini or Aquarius, but you're going to be cutting this person out. Like you're going to be, you're going to try to resolve, work things with them. You're going to realize like they don't have their shit together. They're not in love with you. And you're just like, I'm just fucking done with this shit. So why is the two of pentacles and why is the emperor reverse? Why is the two of pentacles and the emperor reverse for my Scorpios? Okay, we have the strength card reverse. You may be dealing with a Leo, but it's like, for whatever reason, like this person makes you weak. Like you always surrender to this person. So it's like, it's like when you are the nine of pentacles like you like you're sure yourself you're self-confident you're single like yeah look at me you know look at me raking it in and all that stuff and you're happy doing your own thing being independent and as soon as they fucking come back in 
It's like, you just like, you're like, oh, I'll just fuck, fuck up my entire life all over again and rebuild myself up. And it's like the same fucking loop. It's like you get weak with them. So let me get two or three cards. Hold on. Let me get two or three cards to get answers, conclusions, just overall. Yeah, you're thinking that this person is to four of wands, okay? So they're gonna come back and try to say like they're, they're able to commit and that they're into you and that you're the one. They're gonna try to honeypot you. But look at this, they're just completely imbalanced. Like they're, they, they're a hot mess and they don't have, they don't have their shit together. They don't even know what love is. And once again, it's like when you're in a relationship with them, you know it's fucking off. And so you're putting all this work into it for nothing. And we have the tower card reverse. You're gonna find out like they're not interested and they may be leaving you for somebody else. Like this person's an asshole. Don't waste your time with them. Okay, and remember readings can go vice versa too. Just saying. Alrighty then. So the next reading I'm going to be doing you throw my scorps. It's going to be your Oracle reading. Okay. Your Oracle reading. This is a general collective Oracle reading for my Scorpios. Okay. This is going to be for October 1st to the 15th of 2018. So what does the universe want me to communicate with you guys? Okay. What does the universe want me to convey to you? Things that you need to hear, words of wisdom. I am motherfucking Dumbledore. I'm here to drop some knowledge on your ass, Harry Potter. Okay, you need to move it, Potter. You need to move it. What are you waiting for? If you're tired of starting over, then quit giving up. Let me go ahead and mix up the cards a bit for my Scorpios. Okay, and one more. Perfect. Message one, yas. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. You know what you need to fucking do. Two, accept heaven's help. You're, you prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. So you need to, you need to be okay with, it's all right to be vulnerable and let people in. You don't need to be guarded. Time to move on. You have no shit like the fucking reading I gave you. Time to move on. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so the new can come in. You need good, valuable love. And I don't know why you feel like you, you don't deserve it. I feel sadness with you. It's like you're pining or you always wish like this person, like, like if you could just change them or if you just did something right and eventually like they'll catch on, but they don't because you can't make them. And finally, friendship. Make a date to for a play date with one or more friends. Get out and fucking socialize. Get your mind off of it. And now your rebel deck reading. This is your collective rebel deck reading. For October 1st to the 15th of 2018 for my Scorpios, okay? The universe wants me to convey messages to you. Things that you need to hear. 
So what the fuck is your problem? October edition, right? Okay. I am Lisa Simpson on the unfortunate truth. I'm here to drop some knowledge on you. Things that you need to hear. Things that you need to accept. So here I am, the universe is communicating through me to let you know what you don't fuck up and what you need to accept. One more. Perfect. Message one, Scorpio. You do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. What did I motherfucking say? That reading, that fucking oracle reading. Now this oracle reading, what the fuck? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm the Deanna Troy a fucking tarot. I know my shit. The cards never fucking lie, okay? So quit stalking, quit trying to cling on to the past. Let that shit go. Do I need to do, do I need to play a fucking Elsa song for you? Shit, fucking ice queen. Two, you are going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Message three, it's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. You are a grown ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. And finally, don't fucking force it. Allow that shit to come to you. Mecca like a high, mecca honey ho. Alrighty then, thank you for tuning in. If you like this reading, please like and subscribe to this. Also go to Instagram and follow me at Lori Gemini Tarot. I post daily tarot and oracle, oracle readings as well. Um, I love you guys. You guys are amazing and namaste.